Yes. So anyway, Chris, what one thing I wanted to clear up right from the get-go uh, before we go any further is the meaning of ESS60, which the listeners, if they haven't joined us before, are going to hear you using in comparison to C60. Could you please yeah. explain for those who don't know? Absolutely. So what, what we say is that C60 is for industrial applications. And when it's improperly processed, there's peer-reviewed published research that shows that it's actually harmful. ESS60 is C60 that's been processed for safer human consumption. That's really, like th th that's the long and short version of it. Uh, if you're trying to take and get the benefits of uh, of the of the original Bati Rat study, uh, which we supplied the product to, then you're looking for ESS60. Uh, it's safe for human consumption. Uh, and and if if you're, I mean, we were, I, I just found out about a company that's actually selling uh, a water soluble version of C60. When I say C60 is for industrial applications, and when it's improperly processed, can be harmful. What I'm including in improperly processed is making it water soluble because that's where some of the literature is saying water soluble versions of C60 are harmful. And yet you have this company that's in the market selling a water soluble version of C60. I think they're even claiming it's patented and it has some frequency res uh, uh, some specific frequency that they've tuned it to. I don't, I, I've never seen any research about tuned frequencies results prior and post. Like what was the frequency before? What's the frequency after? And where's the mm -hmm. research that supports that this tuned frequency actually makes a difference? So they're kind of combining a lot of different concepts and zero research. I would never put water soluble C60 in my body. Again, it's C60. ESS60, safer for human consumption. And typically you get it in olive oil, in MCT oil, in avocado oil, and then there are some other oils that people do have on the market. Mm -hmm.